Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Susan. <laughs> I'd like to offer you my deepest, deepest condolences. Thank you, uh... Marcus. Marcus, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. We'll all miss him. Yes, it, it was a great loss. Oh, we're all going to miss him terribly. Yes. You must feel terrible. <laughs> well, I don't feel good. <laughs> it was a terrible shock. Oh, death always is. There you are, sitting at home doing nothing, and then suddenly death comes up and goes, boo. <laughs> Were those his last words? What? Boo. Boo? Mm -hmm. No, no, he actually, he, he didn't have any last words. I... Oh, did he make any last noises? You know. Noises? Well, you know, kind of guttural noises. That, uh... <laughs> or maybe that high pitch kind of a... Uh... <laughs> they were lower than that. Well, uh... <laughs> I wouldn't wait. I'm going to be here a while. <laughs> Susan, Susan, there you are, all alone in this big house now. Susan, Susan, you have to mourn, to mourn. Oh, I always thought the Irish were right to do all that keening. Keening? Yes. Do you want to keen? No, thank you. I don't. No. How about singing a Negro spiritual? <laughs> I don't think so. It's very easy. Swing low. Coming for to carry me home. Thank you so much for coming. Don't you want to sing? No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to sing, and I don't want to keen. So if you don't mind, I'd like to attend to the other mourners. Oh, Susan, Susan, you're trying to avoid the sadness, and I can't let you do that. Oh, please let me do that. Just please. This has been a terrible day. I, I have to bury my husband. I... Is he in here? What? <laughs> Oh, I'm going to miss him so much. Uh, how did you come about knowing my husband? Oh, we used to take the commuter train together. Oh, I see. Oh, well, he was the only person on that whole damn train who was nice to me. Oh, the other people would get this look of panic in their eyes when I came towards them. They'd try and move away. Oh, but not your husband. No, no, no. He was always nice to me. Oh, not like my father, who'd never return my phone calls, even though I had the seance and everything. <laughs> Well, he's dead. But I got this medium that gave me an 800 number that allows you to call the dead after 8 o'clock. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, well, you're welcome. I just don't know what I'm going to do on that train without your husband. Well, well, why don't you read a book? Oh, that's nice. You know, you know my favorite book is Bavar the Elephant. That's a good one. Thank you so much for coming, and goodbye. Oh, why are you leaving? No! I am not leaving. You are leaving. Can't you take a hint? making me hysterical. When I say thank you so much for coming, that is code for go away now. Don't you understand that? Obviously not. I'm sorry. I always thought that meant thank you so much for coming. I... Is there anything else you said that was in code that I didn't understand? I don't think so. Sorry, I, uh, please accept my apology. I'm terribly sorry for allowing my anger to show like that. Oh, come on, pow. What, are you crazy? Come on. <laughs> You've had a terrible day. I have. Are you sure you don't want a key? I don't know. Um, perhaps some other time. Oh, please, I just please, don't know please. I... There's no time right now to try. Uh, but I just don't know if I could. I... Oh, yes, you can. Now, come on. Uh, well, it's a wonderful, wonderful sound. I've never heard it. It's kind of like... A little bit like this. It's like... It's all right. He's keening. No, well, it was a little startling. I, 
I, I don't know if I could. I've just never done anything like that. Let it out like that. Yeah, you have to let it out. Will you help me? I will. I'll try not. Just do it soft at first. Jesus, darling. Uh, 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 uh,